Good evening everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone, including those watching at home. I'd also like to remind members that meeting is being recorded and will be uploaded to YouTube later. Item number one, apologies. So far I've had some from Councillor Kingston. Are there any more? Nope. Item number two, the minutes of the previous meeting held on the 6th of June 2024 are here for approval. Can I ask for a mover and a seconder, please? Councillor Adams and Councillor Smith, thank you very much. Item number three, declarations of interest. I've been given this statement to read out before anyone declares anything. I confirm that under section 33 of the Localism Act 2011, the Act permits an authority to grant a dispensation from either or both of the restrictions not to participate and or vote on a matter in which they have a pecuniary interest. Planning Committee members have received a dispensation for applications relating to the future High Street project for a period of two years starting from the 7th of July 2022 until the 7th of July 2024. Having said that, are there any declarations of interest? Okay. Item 4A, applications for consideration number 0133-2024, 12 to 13 Market Street. I'd like to hand over to Glenn Baker Adams to present his report. Thank you, Chair. Just be on slides, right. Yep, 12 to 13 Market Street. Uh, this is an application for a new shop front to the premises. Uh, just a couple of updates to the report as before you. Uh, number one, the Application has been consulted with the Environmental Protection Team at Tamworth Borough Council. They confirm they have no objections. <clears throat> Historic England uh, comments have also been received, and this basically suggests, well, no, these give the consideration of the application to the Conservation Officer, whoever you, who has been consulted, and therefore also has no objections to the proposal as per the report. So this application is a resubmission for a previous scheme granted approval on the 9th of June 2023. So that was the scheme that was granted approval. The uh, following slide here shows the difference between that approved and the one before us tonight. Much of the detail, um, part of the glazing, um, is very much similar to that was that was approved. Um, obviously, this also provides additional space for the ATM to be provided for the Nationwide Bank, who will occupy the site on completion. It should also be noted that adverts um, on the application here are part of a different application that will be before committee in August. And we had some final details that we were a bit unfortunately too late to submit on this agenda, but it will meet uh, hopefully the next one for consideration. <coughs> application has been consulted on by all relevant consultees, including the Tamworth Borough Council Conservation Officer, who has no objection to the proposal. And as a result, the application is recommended for approval. Thank you. Thank you for that, Glenn. Are there any questions? Councillor Smith. Thanks for the report, uh, much appreciated. Um, just a question on that Historic England uh, report, because from what I can see, they came back with, with no viewpoint. Can you just confirm that? It was the fact that they delegate any sort of consideration to our conservation officer. So kind of the way to speed up their decision-making process, they say basically it's the conservation officer's view that's important in this application. Any other questions? I'd like to move to Councillor Smith. Sorry, I thought somebody else might come in there. Um, just on the... Uh... The police report. Um, now, on the report, it does mention there was a police report. Um, I've looked at the police report. There's quite a lot of um, sort of recommendations, I would suggest. Um, so, a few examples. Uh, possibility of roller, shutters, CCTV, uh, alarm systems. Now, obviously, they're going to say what they're going to say. Um, so I, reckon, I, I recognise that. I was just wondering, would it not have been good to have had something on the report, on your report, um, that sort of, in a sense, um, took note of that? And, um, you know, of course, if you feel that uh, you don't want to actually take on anything that they've said, that could be acceptable, but at least just reflect on their recommendations. I would have hoped for that to be in the report. Do you agree? Noted. Yes, I appreciate that. Um, would have been, yeah, duty. Yeah, we could look to do that in the future. 
Um, on this instance, I will take it with the case officer and find out why they weren't specifically included in this report. Um, but so, uh, yeah, thank you for your views on that. Councillor Smith. Just one last one on that one. Um, that report, I think, was dated the 7th of June, the police report. So, again, um, on the uh, officer report, it doesn't really acknowledge much in, in that sense. So, uh, just as a, as a little add-on, given that there was enough time to update, obviously, the report on ModGov, I just thought I'd mention that, that I would probably expect that as well. Are there any other questions? Councillor Clark. Could you repeat again? You said Historic England had referred the matter to a conservation officer because they should advise us whether or not we've used good practice, shouldn't they, when we're making changes to a heritage site? Um, thank you for the question. Um, it, it's quite typical that we approach Historic England um, when um, there are heritage assets that form part of an application. And depending on the significance of the heritage asset, either Historic England will respond, or if the heritage asset has less significance, as in this case, they will delegate that to the Borough Council's conservation officer to do the observations and make a comment one way or the other. So in this case, they have delegated it to the conservation officer um, and it's due to the, the significance of the asset. Anyone else? Councillor Smith again. Um, yeah, back on the, cons on the conservation, um, <clears throat> there was a couple of stuff um, that was uploaded. Obviously there was the report. Um, the report, by the way, didn't actually say what, who the author was. So again, based on what you just said then, it's TBC, isn't it? Um, so if you just want to confirm that. You've also got, there was one where an email came back from Paul Grundy. Um, how does that fit into the whole consultation process that you've taken? The Paul Grundy is our conservation officer. And um, he works for T Tamworth Borough Council. It's a shared service, so he, he actually works for another authority, but d but does so many hours a week for Tamworth Borough Council. So no, he is our conservation officer. Any more questions? No. Oh, Councillor Clark. I know it's going to start within three years. Do we have any better time scale than that? And the other point I'd like to reiterate on transport. I appreciate that the bank next door, NatWest, did have several deliveries daily. Um, do we have any indication from the new, the incoming nationwide, what their transport will, um, is going to be like? Uh, no, because the application in front of us is just about the shop front itself not the use of the building, that's already been approved a couple of years ago through planning committee. In terms of delivering the shop front, so its implementation, that will happen very quickly. Nationwide Building Society are due to take ownership of the site very shortly from the future High Streets Fund project. Um, and so they will be fitting it out and also be delivering the shop front and the advertisements as well. So you'll see those very quickly like by the autumn. Any more questions? No. Nope. I'd like to move to discussion then if anyone would like to say anything on this application. Councillor Smith. Yeah, overall, um, I do support the application. Um, I think it has been well considered. Um, uh, there's just obviously a few of those points that I, I raised um, about the report and some of the stuff that I would include um, just to make it a little bit more robust. But overall, I think everyone's done their part with this. So yeah, I, I've no major issues. Thank you. Anyone else want to speak on this application? Okay. In that case, I'm looking for a mover and a seconder for the recommendations of approved subject to conditions that are in the report. Can I look for a mover, please? Move. Councillor Adams, thank you very much. And I'd like to take the vote. All those in favour? Any against? Any abstentions? 
Moving swiftly on, we've got an information update on application 0561 2018. I'll like to hand over to Glenn. Thank you, Chair. Yeah, a couple of applications here that um, basically straddle the border with North Warwickshire. They are very soon going to be issuing decisions on these applications, so therefore we'll be duty bound to make decisions also on the area that impacts us in, in Tamworth. The first application is the area east of the Tamworth Golf Course. The site proposals are there. This is the current iteration of the proposal as far as submitted at the minute. Application is quite comprehensive. Um, in effect, we've got sports pitches, um, primary school, care home, community hub. Um, so yeah, quite a few obviously, bits of development being approved with this application. The bit within Tamworth's control is very small, but the access to the south of the site. Um, but yeah, that application is almost for determination with North Warwickshire, anticipated in August. Um, but as I say, for Tamworth, we'll be looking at obviously the area within our patch, which is purely the access road, which has been deemed in principle satisfactory with the Staffordshire County Council um, Highways team. It's almost there with Warwickshire's um, district in terms of their appra appraisal of the scheme. Um, but obviously when that gets submitted, that'll be part of the report and you can see the full um, analysis by the Warwickshire County Council Highways team on that application. But as I say, the discussion is very favourable. That application will be um, approved by them. And the affordable housing, sorry, I mentioned that, would be at 30%, um, with Section 106 contributions to be provided on education, with uh, Tamworth having the primary school uh, education contributions for that, um, and with some healthcare provision as well being provided. This next application is the south site on Tamworth Road in Dostill. This application is a bit different in the fact it offers more industrial uses and um, so predominantly it is B2 and B8 which is traditional industrial process and storage and distribution. It also includes some of the new use class um, order um, specifications so this is things like research and development and office use also on the site. In terms of land down within Tamworth it's the patch of green to the north as you can see that will be basically left undeveloped green in its purest terms so no development whatsoever left for ecology purposes or yeah, just undeveloped land that we won't be looking to see any development on. Um, just made some notes, but I think it's not working. Oh, is it? There is not. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, again, say industrial use is in the main. Um, okay, it's easy that both, both these sites are allocated within the um, plans for North Warwickshire with recommendations again for approval. So for when it does turn to determination by us in the August, this one might actually go to September. This is all based on capacity in North Warwickshire. They've got a few applications going to committee soon, so this might want to be a September determination for us. But it will be just that patch of green and how that impacts us in terms of our ownership and um, well, administrative boundary. It's just that element of um, green at the top there. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you know that's in the pipeline very soon and um, you'll be getting committee reports on that, yeah, as I say, in August and September. I think that's it. Thank you, Glenn. Right. That's the end of the meeting. I'd like to thank members and those watching at home. That concludes the business of the meeting. I close the meeting at 18.30.